So I think we're almost ready to start and I'd like to leave the floor to Michelangelo. So whoever just joined, welcome. We are at the live webinar Burgundy School of Business, just beginning to start with our presentation. Drop all the questions that you might have into the Q&A and it's now time to leave the floor to Michelangelo. Thank you, Federica. Thank you for uh, having me on stage. I'm, uh, I'm really delighted to, to be here with you guys. Eh, un, un bienvenido a todos los estudiantes que, que, se, que se están conectando de América Latina y, y to all those, also students connecting from Europe and Asia. So we have around like 16, 17 students connected. Uh, it's different time zones for you guys. So the idea is making this, you know, 30, 40 minutes very productive. So uh, I would like, of course, uh, give an overview about, uh, uh, first of all, what does it mean studying in France? and probably getting a little bit more in details about the BSB, Burgundy School of Business, what, what is a Grand École, and what's the difference between Grand École and University, and then we can dive in into the programs, see like scholarship opportunities, little bit the applications, and then leaving the floor to you, and you can you really ask me uh, all the questions you have in mind, also related to, can be general questions or, or more specific questions related to, to a, a specific discipline. Uh, of course, when we talk about Burgundy, uh, so what it comes in your mind? So that's what I'm, 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 I'm very curious. So, uh, so before really, you know, talking about the educations, you know, I, I prepared like a, 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 an example for you. Just let me, and here, just one sec, here we go. I just prepared an example for you and, and Burgundy is very famous worldwide because of the wine. Uh, and uh, and it's incredible the link that we have with the territory and 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 with this product because of course as you know I've I've heard that people from Argentina and people from Europe so I mean why wine is mostly produced in uh, in so it's produced in, in in many countries and in many areas in the world but apparently uh, in Burgundy we do it in a very exceptional way and uh, and just like to make like a, a little you know little. Uh, um, sharing something with you, uh, I, I, I took this an example to, to, uh, to, to share with you how, at which level, I mean, Burgundy has been, has been able to take like the, a wine product, like moving from like a normal, you know, uh, product that is, uh, it's, uh, it's a mass consuming to a, to a luxury product. So this is a bottle of Pinot Noir. Uh, of course, produced in Burgundy. In Burgundy, it's only Pinot Noir. Uh, it's produced by a specific domain called Romane Conti. And this specific bottle was, of course, uh, uh, the bottle, I mean, the wine is from 1945. So it's, uh, it's an incredible year, at least for Europe, because it's the final of the Second World War. Unfortunately, uh, this today is not, is not, a, is, is not a, a, a good day, and I didn't want to talk about it because it's not probably the contest, but I think we are all a little bit touched about uh, what, is, uh, what is going on, unfortunately. Uh, but this, this 90, 1945 will be remembered as like a year of peace. And, uh, and the question for you is, you should guess and you can type and then I can, I can disclose this information later on, how much this bottle you know, has been sold uh, at uh, to a sort of auctions in October 2018, because really something incredible. Of course, you are not allowed to Google it because otherwise is is too simple. But let's so that was the idea to you know to uh, give you like a first touch about about Burgundy. And uh, first of all, I would like to start about France. So France is so why you should consider France as a, as a studying destination. So to me, I'm half Italian and half French, and uh, as uh, as Federica. I said I'm the director of, uh, of uh, the International Development Burgundy School of Business. I've been working in, in France, in Italy, in the UK. And, and France to me is the perfect combination about like the art de vivre, the, the, this like lifestyle and also a little bit Italy as well. And like the business because France is the seventh largest economy in the world as probably in the automotive. And if you take a company like, you know, um, uh, Airbus is competing at top level with Boeing, you know, to, to produce, you know, aircraft. 
and uh, and 30 companies you know are in uh, are in the top you know fortune uh, global ranking so it's uh, it's uh, it's definitely a a, a country uh, very oriented to business but in the other end is there is also this art of vivre the culture where you can learn a lot because you can uh, you can really learn a lot out of also uh, extra curricular activities about the arts, about the food, about the wine, and you can really get inspired also for, you know, for your future, for your future business model. Uh, BSB, so BSB is based in, in, in two important cities in France. Our historical campus is in Dijon. Dijon is the capital of Burgundy, and Burgundy is one of the 13th regions in France. And uh, recently, we decided really to, uh, uh, to invest uh, in a new campus, and we decided to move uh, also to Lyon. Lyon is the second largest city in France, so we can, I will uh, give you like a little bit uh, of information about, about Lyon later on. But the, the big plus here that we, as you can see from the map, we are really like super centrally located, if you consider Europe, uh, uh, the Europe zone. We are very close to Switzerland, we are not far from the German borders, very accessible to Paris, and also to the coast and to Italy. So the two campuses are really, really well located. But the two campuses are, are really have like two different feelings. So it really also depends on your personalities, what you are looking for, that you can pick like one campus rather than the other, knowing that that being a student, a student at BSB, you can use facilities and you can, you can access the, the, the two campuses whenever, whenever you wish to. Of course, as I said, the, the historical campus is in Dijon. Uh, Dijon, of course, has this more uh, laid back you know, feeling. Um, the big plus that is you know, 90 minutes from, uh, by train from Paris and Lyon, and you have training, train every hour, but uh, probably you, you have half of the cost than living in Paris and Lyon. So this is something very important to students. They have limited budget. Uh, it's, it's, it, I'm, calling, I'm calling Dijon as a, as a hidden gem. So I really recommend you to, to Google it, to check some videos. It's a, it's a, very, it's a, medieval, uh, it's a medieval city of like uh, 200,000 inhabitants with a very, very large pedestrian center, very safe. And as I said, very affordable. So uh, if you are more like an outdoor student, so you like to take your bike and and uh, and living in the, the, the center and, 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 and going and, uh, and diving into the nature, um, if you don't like to commute that much, so that could be like a, a great place to stay. Also because, I mean, if you if you want to, you know, to, to have a little bit of more fun, you, you can have like Paris and Lyon that are uh, very easily accessible. Um, despite Lyon has a different feeling, you know, it's the second largest uh, city in France, it's really like an happening place, lots of startups are, uh, are investing in Lyon, uh, and I'm saying it's a new happening place because of Paris, and we know how beauty is Paris, but it's becoming dramatically expensive. Uh, overall for students. It's very difficult to find an accommodation. It, the, in general, the accommodations are super expensive. Uh, most of the time you, you are obliged to live outside of the city, so the feeling is completely different. I would say Lyon is, uh, is not that, at, as expensive as Paris and gives you, of course, the, 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 the possibility to, to live in a more uh, vibrant place. So it really depends on the personality. Uh, you, I mean, you, can, uh, you have the, the possibility to, uh, to, uh, to study in both campuses. Knowing that you know, they're just one hour and 30 minutes uh, far from each other. So you can easily, you know, uh, go from one campus to another. Um, BSB, so BSB is a, is, a, is a business school and is a grand école. So it was founded in 1899. So we have like more than 120 years of histories. So we have been, we have been uh, around for, uh, for some times actually. And, uh, and what it means grand école, because in, in France, in Europe, but uh, in specifically in France, you can find lots of business schools and lots of business schools that are offering programs in English. But when a business school presents himself as a grand école, is already like a label of quality. Grand école is an accreditation given by the French Ministry of Education sold only for schools that are excel in a specific field. You have Grand École in business, and we are one of the Grand École in business, but you also have one Grand École in engineering, and you can find uh, 
uh, on the um, on the French higher education system, grandes écoles are focused on engineering. But you have to be sure that any uh, any time you see a grande école in front of a university or a business schools, it means there is uh, high academic value. Um, we are a grande école, and what I love about BSB that we are one of the smallest grande école. Uh, uh, because we have like a, a completely different business model comparing uh, uh, other French business schools. So in general, French business schools, they've been growing very fast. So probably in the past five years, I've seen school, they doubled their size and they were like 4,000, 5,000 students. And now they are around 10, 12,000 students. But we decided to keep you know, our identity and, uh, and uh, keep our students like at the center of the project. And we are a business school with 3,000 students. Uh, uh, we, we want to keep this size. That's why we have opened another campus because we really believe on our teaching method that uh, it's very, uh, is enclosing the students in the in the modality of teaching and the idea is having classes that are uh, not more than 35 40 students per class um, so this is really it's our big point of difference because in other business schools you can probably have your know, classes in big amphis some of them can be delivered uh, delivered online for us I mean, uh, uh, if the pandemic will be will be over, everything will be you know will be delivered on campus with maximum forty students in uh, in each class, and this is helps us to to know you better, to understand your needs, to customize our to to help you to customize your education according to your goals, uh, and. Of course, it's something that you cannot really do in, in, in big institutions. Uh, on top of being a Grande Ecole, uh, we are uh, double accredited AQUIS and uh, AACSB. And uh, soon we are going to also to have the AMBA, which will be like triple accredited and only 1% of the business school in the world, they have, the, they, they, they have these double accreditations. So double accreditation, so AQUIS and, and ASCSB, they're not, accredited, they're not accreditations that you, you just fill up a form with just a label that you, you buy and they get to you. No, it's, it's a strong process where you have to deliver every two years um, very high standard results in terms of you know your teaching methodology, in terms of the percentage of international of the international faculty, in terms of research, in terms of international students joining the campus. So in order to be accredited, it's pretty complicated. So it's a it's um, it's a huge investment that we have done because so we see ourselves as an international business school. And of course, being an international business school, we are ranked on the financial times uh, and in, I mean, in different type of positions. Of course, when it comes to ranking, uh, sometimes we have a little bit issues because as, as I said, we are not doing like, we are not running over the volumes and we are still small. So when it comes to, you know, uh, the, 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 the research that, that a school like, like our size can provide comparing to, to a same business school that, that is three times our size, of course, I mean, we, we pay a little bit there. So that's why that sometimes we cannot really reach, you know, top level to the very, very, very high, high positions in the rankings. But if you check all relevant rankings, we are all very well placed. Um, it's very important also to understand the difference between a business school and university. In France, in general, you find excellent education. So even if you decide to go to university, you will have like very good teachers uh, with they, they hold like a, a PhDs and they've been in the field and they have a very strong expertise. But the big difference with the grand with the business school grand école is the is the impact and the 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 orientation that we give you towards the job market. So in the university, I mean, you go there to get some knowledge. In a business school, you go there to get some knowledge that you can practically use in the, comp the corporate environment. So for us, what is important is the connections that we are able to create with you during your studies in order to be, uh, in, in order to increase your level of employability. So this is why at BSB, we can do it, in my opinion, a little bit better than the others. Why? Because we are small. So we can provide you something that is very customized, something that goes really according to your needs. So we have 
coaches that you can meet on a daily basis. So we have lots of hours that you can dedicate to meet personalized, personal, personalized coaches. We have um, a big numbers of internship and job opportunities. Also the fact of be, being close to Luxembourg, Switzerland and Germany give us also the possibility to place our students in those countries. And we welcome uh, on, on a weekly basis, you know, guest speakers on campus coming from, uh, from the corporate world. So the idea is really giving you the maximum exposure to, to the corporate world. So this is really like the main difference on, on universities and, and business schools. And of course, also the, teacher, the, the, the teaching model will be different. So at BSB, you are going to have much more case studies. You are going to co-generate value together with your professors. We are pretty innovative with the, our teaching methodology. Sometimes we also have classes where you are in the center and the professors are, uh, are, um, are more on, on, on a backstage to give you really like the possibility to really learn, learn by doing. Um, of course, we, we will give you the possibility to access to all our alumni network, more than 70,000 alumni that you can activate in the world. So that's probably the big advantage of, of, of studying in a, in a business school in France. Uh, let's now dive into the, 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 the programs and what we can offer. Of course, at BSB, we also have um, bachelors. Uh, available in English, in management with different specializations, both available in, in Lyon and Dijon. But today, the focus is more for graduate programs. So we'll spend little time, more time on explaining to you, uh, you know, our graduate programs portfolio. But if some of you are interested on the bachelor, you can really uh, send me an email and we can book like a one-to-one -one call and I will be delighted to share with you uh, much more uh, inside, uh, inside information about, about the batch. So back to the master, we have different, uh, different programs are available at the graduate level, but the flagship program at BSB and in the Grand Ecole is always the master in management Grand Ecole. You will generally it's called MIM, master in management, but if you see the master in management Grand Ecole is the program that can give you the highest degree of employability in France. Um, of course, business schools are managing and are, are, uh, are customizing uh, the programs according to their strategy. So you will find master, or master in management, Grand Ecole, they, are, they, can, they can look pretty different, depends, depends on the school they're offering. For us, what is very important is, as I said, the individual attention. Again, maximum 35, 40 students per class, all face-to-face, -face, uh, all, 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 all the teaching will be done by permanent professors. We have 40% of our faculty is international and the focus will be classes and internship, classes and internship. So the idea is really to, uh, towards the internship every, uh, every, every six months, if it's not possible every year, will uh, give you like this, uh, um, this exposure to, to the job market. Uh, in order, what we the, uh, 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 our master in management is, as I said, as I previously said, is very customizable. So we want to create a program that 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 you can customize according to your needs and according to the type of uh, job you would like you, you would be interested to find. You know, at the end uh, at the end at the end of your studies. Uh, in general, we we have like uh, four main domains. So we have, uh, we have like a domain related to big data where you can, uh, and, 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 and digital, where you can choose some of your programs. We have another group uh, of, of elective that are more related to humanities because we are a business school that give importance to humanities because we believe that towards the history, towards the psychology, towards philosophy, you can learn much, you, you, you can understand much better, for instance, the behavior of your customers or our, the evolution of a company. So that's why we also give importance to humanities. We have a, a group of electives that will focus on, on global challenges. And, um, and, then, and then like the, 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 the last one will be, will be focused on, on strategy. So of course, it's very, as I said, it's very customizable. So you can really pick and choose the programs along you will be able to have your 60 credits per year and, and, and will be uh, validated by, by your professor. 
Um, when I say very customizable, we also have <coughs> fantastic opportunities for students. They, uh, they've studied four years bachelor and they have a bachelor in business. I will try to explain myself a little better because uh, can be uh, slightly complicated, but you can also ask me questions about this aspect later on. So in France, so the, the higher education system is pretty, is pretty simple. The bachelor is three years, and then you have two possibilities after the bachelor. Or you go for a master grand école, two years, is the higher, is the, with a program that is, has the highest recognition, or you have also the possibility to choose uh, a one-year specializing master or one-year master of science. It's only one year, one, uh, and the, the master in management in 120 credits, and the one year is 60 credits. Of course, the one year uh, can give you, in general, is more, uh, is more uh, job-oriented, is dive into specific disciplines, but it has a less recognition. What we are doing here is, if you have a four-year degree in management related studies, we consider that you have studied three years bachelor's plus one year master, and we give you the possibility to pick one of the master of science that you, uh, that you are interested at. And at the end of the one year, we also give you the master in management grand école. So this is why we, we, we call it double degree Double, uh, double the opportunities cutting, cutting the cost. Because in one year of studies, you can get dual degrees, the master in management, which is like the, the one has the highest recognitions, already your specialization, your specific master of science uh, with just stay, staying in the territory one year. For all students, they have three years bachelor or they've studied um, different type of subjects, for instance, humanities or psychology at the bachelor level, they can still apply, but if they want the double degree, they have to do it in two years. That's the only difference. I hope uh, I was clear on this point, but I can clarify later on anytime, anytime you need. So this is this is the so this is our offer. So for instance, uh, and making a practical example. So if a student has studied in uh, Argentina, in generally, I remember it was five years, but maybe now uh, the green business are four years, but you have studied four years. So you have the possibility, if you have studied in, in business, you have the possibility to choose one of our master of science and getting the double degree. If you have studied like a, a subject that are not related to business, you have two possibilities. Or you, you study one year the Master of Science and you get only the Master of Science one year or you come two years and you, and you get the two degrees. So just to give you like a practical example. So, but the message here is that we try to make, you know, your journey as customizable as possible. In general, what we do is the first year is general management and the second year is in, uh, uh, is in, 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 uh, in, in, in really specific topics. Of course, you have also the possibility to integrate with that, like the study abroad experience, and we can uh, we can talk about uh, about also about it later on if you are interested. In that, of course, at the very beginning you are probably not uh, not all connected. I made an example about Burgundy wine and and the connection that the and, and the big connection that the territory has with wine, and of course. Uh, we couldn't miss this opportunity. And in, uh, in 2013, we have opened a business school focused on wine and spirit business. Now it's becoming one of the leading specialized business school in the world. Uh, we, we are considered really the global pioneers and leader in uh, educational research in wine and spirit business. We have professors teaching and coming from uh, all over the globe. And, uh, and we have the school that has the largest portfolio of programs in the wine and spirit business industry. I know that is very niche, but it's also a very interesting subject. And, uh, and I really wanted to, to share with you. So we have on top of uh, our, let's say, uh, um, mainstream, you know, uh, master programs. We also have like those specialized master programs. We offer an MBA in wine and spirit business where we have a largest number of 
students coming from the US, for instance. We have a program in wine management that is very popular worldwide. And we have now launched a new program in English in sustainability, in sustainable wine tourism and gastronomy. So that's to give you also like uh, some, uh, you know, some other aspect and, and really a point of differentiation that you won't find in, uh, in any other uh, business schools. Um, what we do, what we do at BSB that we try really to make your life as smooth and as easy as possible. So you're going to have like a, 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 a big group of my colleagues uh, that we, I, will, I will introduce later on on the slide. They will be at, at your disposal to, for one-to-one uh, -one meetings, you know, to clarify any of your doubts. And if you are interested to apply, the application process is very smooth. So in general, you have four steps. You have to fill up your applications. There is an application fee that you have to, to pay. And then we are pretty fast in processing your application and, uh, and giving you like a, a, an offer. Uh, considering that in, uh, in, uh, from now to April, we're also gonna be very generous with scholarships and we have merit-based merit scholarships available that are covering up to 50% of your tuition fees. So just to give an example, if you are, you know, picking up our programs in, in our Master of Science in Artificial Intelligence, uh, which cost which cost 14,000 euros, uh, you, can, you can come and study Artificial Intelligence at the cost of 7,000 euros. Uh, here on the Master, uh, on the list of the Master of Science, you can really see all the disciplines that we have. It's not only wine. Uh, for instance, in, uh, in, uh, in Lyon, we have decided to have our, you know, cutting edge specializations in business. And we offer like the program in artificial intelligence and digital technology, because we do believe that artificial intelligence will, uh, is still, a, is, is already have like an important role, but will have a significant role in all type of business models, in all type of companies. So we would like to form you for the job of the future. Uh, we are going to have also, we, we are teaching in Lyon also the, the, the master in grid tech and sustainable, sustainable societies because Lyon is considering like the, uh, a, a green city with a major that is investing a lot in sustainability as, and the major is sponsoring BSB as like the place where you can, uh, you can get specialized in, uh, in those type of topics. Uh, we, on, on top of it, we offer programs in luxury, and I've heard that some of you are interested in luxury, and you could ask yourself, so why I should study luxury in Dijon rather than maybe Paris, Milan, or London? Be, Dijon could be like a very interesting place. First of all, I mentioned you, I mentioned you about the wine that is becoming a luxury program, so there is a lot to learn about it. But also we are 130 minutes of, of Paris and a lot of companies that are working uh, on, uh, on, on the luxury sector has been uh, decentralized in Lyon because of the cost. So you have access to a lot of manufacturing working luxury. And on top of it, as I told you, we are very close to, to the Swiss border and to what is called the Watch Valley. So you're going to have the possibilities where we take our students also to explore the luxury, the, 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 the luxury in Switzerland, which is mostly related to watches. So you're going to have a strong exposure because you'll be exposure, exposed in Paris, but also in Switzerland and also from the ma manufacturing su surrounding Dijon. So this is why it makes sense also to consider luxury for Dijon. And then arts and cultural. So we have been considered like the, the, the best business school for us, a cultural management. So our program taught in Paris in French is ranked number one in France. And we are reproducing the same program in English in Dijon. Again, Dijon, it's a fantastic hub for arts and cultural, more or less for the same reasons, because a lot of artists, they used to live in Paris, they decided to come to Dijon because the food is good, because the wine is good, and because it's much less expensive, and of course they can, they have much more space, space to really to be creative. This is why in Dijon there is a, a a very important arts movement, which is much more accessible because, as I told you, the size is a smaller size rather than Paris. And if any of you are interested in arts and cultural management, could be definitely an interesting destination to uh, uh, to to consider for your future studies. 
Um, as I told you, we are like a team that is devoted to, to international students. We really try to support you in uh, all possible ways uh, with languages. So we speak all different languages. We come from different nationalities. Like, as you can see from the peaks, we have Yolande based in Africa. Jal is based in, in China. Prakash is Indian, but is working in Dijon. Um, Perishte, she's from Kyrgyzstan, but, uh, but she lives in Dijon. So, and, and all of them, they've been, you know, uh, studying in France and, uh, and they've, they, they've found a job and they will be like very happy to, to share their stories with you in case, I mean, in case you would like to connect with them. Um, last but not least, uh, this is like the, 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 the main Dijon square. In front of you, you have the Musée des Beaux-Arts, which is considered one of the best museum uh, in France. And this really uh, gives you like the art de vivre la française. So this is where I'm generally going to take my, my aperitivo after like, you know, stressful working days. But is, uh, so this is Dijon. It's a uh, it's lot of pedestrian places, lot of terraces, a uh, lot of places you can, you can chill with your friends, you know, after your... Um, after your study. So uh, I, I really hope I, I've been able to really to, to give an overview about who we are, but I really would like to give you like, and to leave you some time for the Q&A because I think it's, uh, and, and leaving to you the floor to ask me, you know, any type of uh, questions that you have. I will just pause my camera five seconds because meanwhile I was speaking. So the night is coming and I was like, uh, in the sunshine, and now I'm in the dark, but I will be back back to you in in uh, literally in five seconds. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelangelo, for your presentation. It's been great to hear more about uh, the BSB, Bergen School of Business. Thank you so much for sharing with us lots of insight. And yes, we actually received lots of questions while you were presenting. Um, if you're ready, we're just going to start. With the first one, perfect. So one of the first question is actually about requirements. So we have um, someone writing us from Pakistan and yep. is asking us which are the requirements to apply in case they vary from different countries. Okay, I mean, in, in generally, and this is like probably a big advantage of France, uh, the, the, the main end requirements are pretty standard. So what we want for a graduate student, like a bachelor that is, uh, is, uh, is recognized in, uh, in, in, in your own, own country. So it's a, it's a recognized bachelor degree, can be three years or four years. This is, uh, this is not important. You can also have like a bachelor that is not strictly related to management. And, uh, and, uh, and you maybe only few specializations that will require some, uh, some uh, let's say, uh, more technical backgrounds, you know, like digital, uh, they might require like some, some courses in mathematics, but in general, I mean, we are pretty open, uh, much more similar to the, to, the, to the US, where you can really move from a discipline to another without like uh, too much trouble, something that is not always the case in other European countries. And, um, and then of course you need to have like a good level of English. I mean, we are in France, so we don't need you to excel in English, but to have like a, a good level of English can be like a six IELTS, around like eight TOEFL. And this is like the, the, the minimum documents that you need in order to apply. And then of course, I mean, higher are your grades, and better are the chances. And then the only thing we do with all our students is an interview that is recorded. So you send out all the, document, the, the documents and then we ask you to, to record an interview uh, whenever it's convenient for you. You just have a link, you can, you can um, access the link anytime. And you have like four questions and probably 15 minutes and you just have to record yourself and you send us, you send, uh, a, a, and automatically we are going to receive this video. Why it is very important? Because as I told you, so we are, we are very personal at BSB and, and you also we want to understand, so which are your expectations uh, and, and the only way to do it is, you know, hearing from your own voice, you know, and sometimes we all know that, you know, motivation letters or also recommendation letters, you know, being very honest, you know, sometimes can be like a, a, a copy and paste and in general, you know, professors, they tend to write the good recommendation letter or, or you pick up professors that, 
that write, write you a good recommendation letter. So this is a way to, to, to understand you better, to, to learn a little bit more about you. Thank you so much. Question from Valeria. She's asking yes, us if it's possible to study the Grand Ecole program to get the Master in Management degree in apprenticeship work and study mode. This is a very interesting question. I would say in absolute, yes, because this one is the, is the French business model, is integrating teaching and working, teaching and working. And this is the case for the majority of French scholars. So they integrate the business school because they have the possibilities to work and study in the same time. So here, there is a little issue. So uh, for international students, because you, in order to do it, you need to have a sponsoring company. So you need to have a company that sponsor you say, okay, I want, I want the students because we'll, there will be the company paying the tuition fees in France. But this is a very, I, I call it like a, a, a golden circle because the company are willing to pay the tuition fees because they pay less taxes. And the other hand, but they can form their students, you know, and of course students, they can access a, 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 a business school, you know, without paying the tuitions. The issue for international students is the fact to find this company, which is not probably sometimes easy at the first year, but maybe you can come for the first year master grand école and integrating the, the, the work and study starting from the second year. So that's, that's what, what could be a possibility. Actually, the, 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 the law has changed, has changed recently in France. And before was in terms of paperwork, being very honest, was pretty, pretty complicated for international students. And now it's getting easier. I'm not saying that it's simple, eh? just few students and probably if you know French, you have much higher opportunities if you don't know French, that's for sure. But in general, so you have this, this possibility, yes. Amazing. So Michelangelo, before you said about um, English level, someone is asking us if it's actually essential to speak French. I would say is not, and, and, and some of our students do not speak, I really recommend to, to take this chance of, 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 of coming to France and, and learn the language. Because as, as all no English speaking countries, you know, uh, knowing the language of the country will give you like an incredible advantage. But of course, we know that culture that is, is much easier comparing the others, you know, French in general, it's not a super difficult language to learn. The grammar is, can be complicated, but, but is, uh, and of course, if you come from like a, you know, a Latin country, it will be definitely much easier than a students coming from, uh, from Asia because, uh, because this is normal as vice versa, it will be much difficult for us to, 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 to learn you know, Chinese or, or Indonesian or Thai. Uh, I would say we, 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 do, we, we offer you, you know, French classes free of charge. So, you have this, this opportunity, then it's really up to you how much time you want to invest on it. But of course, I mean, there is a lot of students that they survive without, without speaking French, yes. And if I can add, maybe learning French will also help you to get the full experience, you know, once you, you live in a, in, a, in a country. Correct, Federica. A question about pandemic situation. So someone is asking us how the situation right now. So you basically you're back full time in campus with classes. And also they're asking us if it's hard to stay in France after graduation, like if there is job opportunity for someone that is willing to stay. Yeah, very, very, very good questions. I mean, the first idea it probably is, is, my, is the first presentation I, I, I've been doing uh, after two years that I haven't mentioned the COVID, you know, and, and probably this is also like a, a, it's also already replied to your questions because the feeling we have that we are about to the end. We are not sure, we cannot say that because, uh, but the feeling we have is, is that is slowly, slowly, we are slowly, slowly, uh, getting to the end of this like terrible two years. Um, we have been managing, I, I believe, again, thanks for our size in, in a proper way. So BSB, uh, being very honest, is, is, is a face-to-face -face school. I mean, if you are considered to go digital, there are plenty of uh, other universities and schools, they do digital very well. For us, the advantage is the face-to-face, -face, is the fact that you are uh, uh, a small group in the classes, is the fact that we have like this, like, uh, um, uh, very up-to-date uh, teaching methodology and uh, and the fact 
of being small has given us the possibility to uh, to to keep the sanitary barrier, but getting back to this face to face. So now we have it's now several months that we are backing back to face to face. Uh, classes, of course, with all the sanitary measures, we all wear masks, we all clean our hands, so we try to respect the distance, and, and so far, so good. Of course, we had few cases among our students, but we have like the possibility to be tested anytime they want, and we have never had, like for instance, big clusters. Of course, France and other European countries has decided to to lower their barrier, you know, and uh, and uh, the city is more, uh, I mean, the country and, and Dijon is more open. Um, so uh, the feeling is the, that, yeah, that we are, we are getting, you know, we are getting over, of course, but it's something we have to consider uh, as like a, a definite advantage in France, the, the, the healthcare system in France is probably the best one in the world. So when you come as an international student, you'll be automatically integrated in the French healthcare system, and you are going to have like a, a full-on assistance. Of course, I, I touch any type of wood I have in front of me because it won't never happen, but you know, also for other circumstances. So you know that in terms of healthcare, in terms of, of course, social services in France, you have like probably the best service you can, you can expect. Uh, I would say probably all over the world. It comes from transportations to uh, also social benefit, just to consider that international students can claim back 40% of the cost of their accommodations. And it's happened to the majority of our international students. It's called CAF, C-A-F. It's something you can Google it. And I believe there is lots of information about CAF France, but it will show that, you know, if you have a regular, um, a regular contract so you can claim back 40 percent of the cost which is huge it means that if you are paying 400 450 euros or 500 euros for your accommodations every month you get back 250. the second question was more related to um job opportunities once you graduate exactly so in generally uh, france has a, has a policy of a one-year stay back visa a, and this is applying to all international students, considering that France has been always very open and generous with foreigners. That's that's part of the culture, you know, and, uh, and uh, this is why also there is like a, an important uh, immigration from, uh, from other countries to France, because they know that France are, are pretty welcome, welcoming in terms of, 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 uh, of policy. And, and being very honest, I, I've never seen like a student that has been you know, kicked out of the country. So if you come as a, as a student and you are settled down in France, then you, you also have like plenty of possibilities you know, to stay in France, extend your student visa, you know, or, or changing your student visa, working visa. In general, it's, it's a pretty welcome country, yes. Thank you. Uh, questions about application. So someone is asking how early should someone apply? So for example, if you still haven't finished your bachelor, in this case, they're talking about international business program, how early should you put an application through? You know, in general, for all students on the final year of bachelor, I recommend them to apply. So we give them in general until December next year. To, to complete their uh, their bachelor studies because we also know that during you know the pandemic you know uh, I mean some students has to defer their their graduations you know but in generally if we have the evidence with the transcript they are finalizing their third year they can apply and start in September and some students sometimes they just have the final thesis or the final paper they have to give back to their you know uh, um, their own institutions and they can do it between you know uh, September to December that's a flexibility that we 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 allow to students of course I mean at the end they need to have a bachelor because in order to get like a master degree so they, they need to have a bachelor so they're also taking a risk so we are taking a risk to allow them to start, but in the meantime, we are sharing the risk. Say, okay, you have to finish your bachelor because otherwise, you know, you cannot get your degree at the end. Thank you. Um, you actually mentioned it before in your presentation, but some question arrived, so maybe it's good to just uh, touch base on this yeah. again. Scholarships are they any sort of scholarships available 
for specific, like in general, for international students, or maybe you have some specific scholarship also in place for countries, for example. So we, we have scholarships that are, are available for all international students and, and scholarships are available for all our degrees, it can be bachelor, master grand école, one year master. So all students that are interested to study to any type of, of or, or, or to any type of our programs, they will have some scholarships available for international students. The scholarship is a reduction on the tuition fees can be from 25% up to 50%. So that's what we offer. And we offer this before like the, uh, the meanwhile, the student is, is applying and the student can wait like the confirmation of scholarship before committing with us. So that's it's very clear and we have a scholarship committee every 15 of each month so for instance the next one will be on 15 of march and all the application completed arrived by 15 of march we are going to evaluate for possible scholarships so that's what we do that's what we do you know up uh, uh, like during the application then as i said france and, and, and bsb gives you know a lot of uh, uh, also uh, support Meanwhile, students are, uh, are, uh, are in campus. So if students are facing some, uh, you know, some, uh, some difficulties, so we have like a foundation that helps students they are, uh, they are, you know, facing some difficulties. We know that, you know, during the pandemic, you know, maybe families, you know, they lost their business, their job. Of course, we cannot cover and help all of them, but we are, comme on dit en France, à l'écoute. So we are listening all our international students and we will try to help the one that we really have the, 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 the proof they, 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 they are in, you know, in, 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 uh, in uh, difficult financial conditions, okay? So that's what we do. And then again, as I said, France, it's very generous for the accommodations, the, 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 so you can, you can claim 40% of, uh, uh, you know, of your rent, you know, you're going to have under the age of 26, you know, all the transportations are way much cheaper, which allows you, you know, to travel uh, all over. We generally, uh, with, with, a, with a student business car, you access to all, you know, cultural events and museums in general free of charge. So you also have like probably this, you know, those type of, you know, opportunities that maybe in other countries, so it, it will cost probably, uh, it will, so it, it, so it, 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 which, so in other countries, they probably have like a, a, a high cost. Yes. This is actually very good to hear because, you know, when someone is looking for putting application through, of course, thinking about, you know, the financial helps that they might get is, is very important. Yeah. Um, supporting students, Lorena is asking us if you actually provide some sort of part-time solution for working people. So for someone that wants to have a side job. Yeah, listen, I, I, you, 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 if, you, if you want, you can, you can see it from real because on the 25th of March, but then you, you can check on our website. You are going to have, uh, we're going to launch our uh, virtual open day and our virtual open day will be planned, organized and delivered only uh, by our international students. So, uh, and all those international students that you will have like the possibility to meet, so are working in my division. So I'm, I'm already working with 10 of them. Uh, of course, I mean, I, I, I cannot give a, a, a job to all the international students. This year we have more than, than 350. But of course, I mean, there are possibilities to, you know, to work in the campus and also outside the campus, the visa allows you to work 20 hours per week. This is amazing. So 25th of March, you said. So save of March. the date. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be like a very, very short VOD, a couple of hours you meet. The, it's going to be live. So it's from 2 to 3 p.m. And you, you meet the students live, you, you, so they will, they will share about their experience and then you have the possibility to talk to them directly live uh, on a one-to-one. On -one. So it's gonna be like a day dedicated to, to international students, yes. That's nice. And it's nice to see, you know, your peer will be talking to you about their exactly, experience. Exactly, so the idea is, I, mean, I think we have to be very honest and frank. So, uh, you know, moving from, you know, crossing the ocean and, and leaving your family and your friends, it's, uh, it's a difficult decision. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, you know, uh, uh, sharing your, you know, your questions with students that have already done 
They've done this journey that we, we think is very important. And also to understand not only the positive, but also the negatives, you know, which could be like the issues that you can find because it's not always, you know, um, so you can also find the issues and going internationally is also because you want to challenge yourself, right? So otherwise you stay in home with uh, mom and daddy and you have like a cool life. Talking about international students, so when we uh, started the conversation, uh, some students actually were from South America and Sarah is asking us how many international students are at BSB, for example, from South America. So in case like, you know, will she find like a small community to join? Yeah, there is a small community of, uh, of, uh, of South American. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase uh, because we are... Uh, we are uh, we are investing a lot in, in in Latin America. So yeah, we we have like students coming from. Uh, as far as I remember, we have a Colombian students that uh, as enrolled. We have uh, we have we have Colombian students, uh, Argentina, no Venezuela for sure, uh, from Central America, Honduras, and Mexico. Yeah, we 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 do have a community. Uh, the good things of, of BSB that that we have 70 nationalities, you know, and we don't have like big big clusters, of course. Uh, Chinese so far as the largest number, but also because of the pandemic, I mean, they've been reducing uh, drastically in the couple of years. And, but in the other end, we have been able to increase, you know, uh, students from other nationalities. It's pretty impressive, but the, the second largest student destination for us is students from the US. Because Burgundy in, 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 in US is just considering like a magic territory. And also because we're teaching wine, huh? we have, of course, a lot of students, they come for, the, for our wine-related programs, but not only. We have students from the US in our, from US in our bachelor. We have students from the US on, uh, on our Master of Science in Arts and in Digital and in Artificial Intelligence. But last year, we had like more than 22 students from the US, which for us is, is a pretty good size. Absolutely. Um, luxury program, before we mention among the different programs, there is a program related to the luxury yeah. management, asking if is somehow in collaboration with some French uh, fashion label. Of course, I mean, we have access to all those famous French labels, but I don't want here to, you know, to, to sell you a dream because uh, it's not my job. And, uh, and there is already like a lot of, let's say, uh, uh, fashion schools they, they 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 sell this dream and and we are a business school so we we want to be like very honest i mean we we have the possibility we are going to give you the exposure to the best uh french companies this is the this is the goal then from from here saying that they're going to recruit you i mean this is of course i i cannot make this promise the fact that you're going to be exposed and you're going to understand how the luxury industry is functioning in France and in Paris, certainly yes. Which I believe is actually a great start if that's, you know, your, your ambition and goal. Wine program, so moving from a different program, we mentioned before Bergen, this region of wine, uh, this industry is, is very important. Asking about what sort of background you need, they're asking if there is needed an agricultural sort of background, or you also accept different any, any background, honestly. Only for the MBA, we need three years of experience, even if it, even not related to the to, to beverage industry, but you need three years of experience. In general, we don't we don't need any 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 expertise in wine. Of course, as you probably understood, we are a business school, so we we teach you, you know, how to make business in the beverage sector with a specific focus on the wine and spirits industry. Okay, it's not only wine, but so we also have a big specialization in spirits. But of course, wine is really where we excel because, as I said, La Romane Conti, and it's the bottle that I presented like at the beginning of the presentation. Uh, I mean, they're all you know. Uh, 15, 15 miles from the campus, you know, and uh, and this is incredible, but uh, you consider that Burgundy is producing only 3% of the wine in France, okay? But if you're taking the most 50 expensive bottle in the world, 30 of them are produced in Burgundy, you know, and so that's why, so the, the, the big plus here that we have access to those domains that in general are not accessible. And let's not forget our first question where we started the webinar about the value of, of the bottle. We really exactly. wanted to know. 
Um, another question about, so since we mentioned background, so I guess engineering background is also fine. Someone that wants to go from engineering to management. Super welcome engineering backgrounds, yes. Amazing. Um, asking if Burgundy also offers some sort of exchange program. So for students that want to move for a certain period and then go back study in their own countries. We, I mean, we, we, I mean you, you can embed your exchange in the degree for the master. As I said, the master in management is very customizable, the master of Grand Ecole. Rather than, for instance, picking up the master of science as a second year, it's an option. So you, you study your first year, like all advanced fundamentals in management. And the second year, you have the possibility to, you know, choose a master of science. But you have another possibility, choose like a study abroad, and then doing only the specializations of the master of science. Now, for instance, artificial intelligence. At the end of the, the first year uh, of, 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 of the master grand école, you can say, I want to do the master of science in artificial intelligence. And you have your double internal degree. But you can say, you know what? Uh, I prefer to do like an experience abroad one semester. And then when I come back, I'm just ta taking all, only the specializations in artificial intelligence. And that is something you can do. Of course, you won't get the dual degree, but you are going to get the specializations and the experience overseas. So that's why when I'm saying it's very customizable, it's really, you know, according to your needs, you can really customize, including like the, 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 the international experience. Questions about pro projects. Um, during your presentation, you mentioned that the approach is really hands-on. So there's also practical activities. So what sort of project can students experience while they're studying at BSB? Of course, I mean, pro projects in, in, in general, we tend to, you know, to, to uh, have students working together with different nationalities, with projects given by, uh, by some private companies, you know, and uh, in general companies, they like to, you know, to, uh, to, to work with our students to, you know, to, 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 to test, you know, some innovative ideas. And, uh, and there is no better way to test innovative ideas, you know, with group of talented students coming from different nationalities. So in, the, in general, those are the projects, you know, are projects uh, that are, 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 are given by the private companies. So of course, you are followed by a specific prof professors, and then you have to work in group. And of course, you have to deliver the final projects. You have different steps, you know, that you have to go through. And then doing like the final pr presentations, in a way, try to convince the company that your idea is... Uh, is the good one, or is the best one, actually. Still have time for one final question. Okay. And I actually wanted to take the occasion to thank you all because all of, all of your questions were very interesting, I have no, to thank say. You. Thank you very much indeed. Questions about typical academic year at Bergen the School of Business. So definitely for whoever wrote this question, 25th of March, I guess probably students will be able to uh, tell you more, but maybe Michelangelo can give, can give us some ideas. About the, the... Like a typical year for students, like academically when you have exams. In business school, exactly, it's very concentrated. So you, you arrive at the, at the September, in September in, at the beginning of September, you have like the, the orientation days, orientation weeks. We will ex explain how the system works and you start with our you know, building your, uh, your, your master according to, to your needs. In general, October, November is very intense. You have programs, courses. December is dedicated to uh, exams, okay? Uh, in general, if you, uh, and then you have like a big break. Uh, if, you, if you fail some exams, you have the possibility in January to take them back. And then again, February, March, mid of April, pretty intense on, 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 uh, on, on, on courses, and then May exams, and then internships. And then internships it depends on the students. We have in, students, they stay two months internships, students, they stay like four months internship all the summer. So that's really then depends on, on, on the opportunities and, uh, and the type of internship that you're going to find. Perfect. So we're really coming towards the end of our presentation. And I really like to thank Michelangelo for his time and for sharing with us uh, more insight about BSP and for his time. And I also wanted to thank you all for staying connected and for all of your valuable questions. Yeah, thank and you very much. It was really a pleasure. 
I really want to know the answer now. Please. Exactly. Like, so probably not of all of you were connected at that time, but I so we with this this you know this this taste this joke you know about this is a bottle of 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 Burgundy wine from a domain that is 15 minutes from here. It's called Romane Conti and is. Is probably considered the best domain in the world, uh, actually. And this bottle is from 1945. And the question, is, the question was, could you guess how much this bottle was, you know, was bid at, at Sotheby's auctions in October uh, 2018? So, and actually, there was like an Asian guy that bought this bottle for a price of five hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars. So that's the most expensive bottle that's been never paid uh, you know in uh, in the world for a, for a bottle of wine and it's incredible this is an example of course i mean uh, but in burgundy fortunately or unfortunately so there is a lot of wines that are you know uh, there are more than 100 or c 1000 euros a bottle and uh, which is not always great for if you are living here, but of course, if you are living here, you 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 can easily find you know uh, solutions there and, and drink like excellent wine without, of course, you know, like spending this uh, this amount of money. But the fact is that this is something like uh, very interesting to learn is the the how Burgundy has been able, of course, to to move like a mass product kind of to like a luxury product, and this is just. Uh, incredible actually absolutely so thank you so much thank, thank you so you much for, for your thank presentation you, thank you to all of you thank you for your attentions and of course you have you have my email on the last slide which you can copy and paste uh, here and you can you know contact me directly anytime absolutely we also send you an email over the next couple of days there will be a recording of the event so in case you miss some parts because you connected later absolutely you can re-watch it and there will be a contact details that you can reach thank out you. in case you have any questions thank you so much Michelangelo and to all of you and have a great rest of your day you too you take care bye bye thank you bye